was time for another solo hunt and being getting itchy feet. Um, thought I'd take Carl and Keith out and the bike, now it's fixed. And yeah, I thought I was gonna do an intro speech when I'm the first day and give the dogs a water. And yeah, before I could even stop at the gate, Keith and Carl floated off. Smell good ball. Hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, so there's the car, and yeah, this boar, dare say one of his wallows will be here, and yeah, they got him out that way. Might have been a mob here, I'd say. But yeah, they've done well to smell him. Come on boys, we gotta go pick him up. Come on. Hey, come on boys, good work. Yeah, this um, cow poo has been rooted up by the pigs. The pigs are just trying to find all the little dung beetles out there. So yeah, they tend to hang around where the cattle are feeding so they can get feed off the cow poo. Yeah, great start to the afternoon. Very good start. Plenty more tonight, hopefully. Now it's time to go pick up that ball. I uh, got the quad started. Uh, last video, as you know, it um, played off me and ended up being the uh, starter solenoid. So we fixed her up. And there you go. No dragging for me. intro was going to be we have got Ab here that is the mother of our pups she was um pretty hypo sort of a girl she only seen one pig and apparently hung it but um we thought putting a litter of pups through her might calm her down so we're ready to work her tonight um just do some training with her keep her on a lead with us we're to make sure that 
like 100% stock proof before you let them work on their own on the back and they can jump on the ute and have manners. Um, if you want to know more and how to professionally train dog, follow Blue Collar Conservations on Facebook, Greg Tonks his name is. I'll put the link in my description so you can um, yeah, check him out for handy tips and even does schooling and obedience school for the dogs. So. And yeah, everything happened too fast for me to let her out on that, on that ball. But yeah, hopefully we can hit some more peds tonight and yeah, put her to the test and she's keen. And her name is Girl, Aaliyah just calls her Girl, so that's her name. Hey boys, you're tired already? So, Lisa got one bore up and hopefully more to go. <laughs> They've been um, going to sleep waiting for me to hurry up and get this pig out and sort it out. I take that long. But yeah, on that matter, I better get going as the sun is going down. Only a bit of light left. Dan hit some good daddies out here. I've seen some really good pigs. And yeah, they're about an 80 kilo boar that he said he's seen ran off a dead cow. So hopefully we'll find some dead cows tonight. And um, yeah, things are pretty dry here find something and maybe if I have time with this light try and drone this dam that he reckons that they might be um, coming into so yeah he told me I wasn't allowed to come home if I didn't have a pig so lucky I've got a pig and a good one. Wind has come but beautiful in her face. Perfect. I think there's a dam up further. So I dare say they could be up a bit further. Yeah, this is the dam that Dan wanted me to check with the drone. Get up, Keith. I know why the dogs jumped off. You can smell that daddy in the air that Dan couldn't find the other night. So, um, yeah, I might try, put, try and put the drone up. And yeah, the daddy's out that way. But yeah, it's good training for them. Anyway. Yeah? We put the eye in the sky, hey? Well, we've got a little bit of light left. So yeah, that was the dam just behind the car. And yeah, as you can see, the dogs have found the daddy. Put this drone up and um, yeah, see if it wasn't another daddy somewhere else.
good on the drone. There's a dead cow just here. I think that's the one Dan was talking about. He thought it was out in the paddock, but um, he never found it. But yeah, I think that's the culprit right there. But um, I think the pigs might be coming from the creek. That's oh, nearly a K over there. And they're not too worried about coming to this dam. Um, the boys were keen back before the dam and there's um, a bit of a little creek system. So I think to kill some time, I might even go down there and have a look. Okay, so I've got a bit of time to kill. It's only, sun's only just gone down. Um, moon's out, which is good. We love full moon hunting. It's three quarters full. It's looking really good. So I am going to get the quad off and just ride a little creek that was close to that boar this afternoon. He smelled like daddy. There could be another daddy out in the distance. Who knows? It's pretty dry times. But yeah, so I might go kill some time and ride on the bike. Why would you have to go get muddy feet? These aren't bad. The wind check. It's pretty still. Well, no jumps at all. Maybe it's like what they say, when you get a good pig, you should just go home. That's where we got the ball this afternoon. Yeah, must be a daddy out there. Is that five hundred ready? I might get the bike off. Our rule of thumb is to try and keep within 500 of them. The breeze is coming perfect. So the boys are at 840. So yeah, I might start poking out. Here you go. I'll take for a first look. Here you go. So that was a long find through some hard country. They found the daddy. Good dog. Here's that big sow that um, Carl and Keith got. They went out 800. Yeah, I could smell boar. They were split up there for a while and yeah, it took a bit to get out there, but yeah, she's a massive sow. Big barren thing. But um, yeah, there was definitely other boars there. 
But yeah, the boys done well to get what they did. She's fat. I reckon she'd dress high 70s. Probably high 80s, 90s live. She's a big girl. knot and the lead held. Good stitching. Not even a tear. Want a handy pack out? That's our. Yeah, she's not really touching. Only a foot there, but yeah, she went heavier than I thought. She's a big girl. She is wide though. Really wide. Hey, you done so good. Hey, you done excellent. The bike helps when they're cool by the time we get back to the car. Ready for a snooze while I dress it out. See what she weighs then. Well, dress out 79. My mate's gonna like these bloody pork sausages, I tell ya. That girl wasn't very interested in the pigs. <laughs> I think she'd probably seen pigs when she's younger and everything's different at night time. They haven't been out hunting at night time, but um, yeah, she wasn't too overly cared, but um, once it was dead and flipping around, she went in there for a little bit of a chew here and there. So yeah, I think daylight would be better, but I'm not too far, so. I don't really care if something doesn't hang straight up. Some of our best dogs um, have taken, you know, 50 pigs before they click on. But yeah, it's when they switch that they really switch on. But yeah, I've got high hopes for it now. Okay, just so you know what's going on. This afternoon, where I got that boar, was right there. And when I just went for a ride on the quad, I rode that side of the creek when really I should have rode this side. But yeah, I went with a hunch, drove down this fence line, and yeah, the dogs floated off here. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Got that good boar and yeah, that big ton of sea just off this one dam, basically. So yeah, I've got another two dams to check, so. Hopefully I'll do all right, but yeah, I'll, I think I'll just head hit them too and yeah, head home. Doing pretty good so far. Oh well, we had a good night, hey. We head home. Yeah. Good boys. It's um, just started to get very windy, so yeah, I think we might call it a night. We got two good pigs, gotta be happy with that. So yeah, dog's done well. So we'll, yeah, head home. Thanks for watching, guys.
welcome back to episode two. 